<coughs> okay. Getting your spirit right. Um, I have uh, preached a lot of sermons in different churches and <coughs> I've made a lot of videos and the thing that helps me most is when I do this is to get my spirit right. It, it's hard to go into a place discouraged and try to pick up other people and encourage them. Um, sometimes the devil just manages, just, he's relentless. He don't stop. He don't quit. He don't back up. He keeps on sending discouragement. Keeps on sending discouragement. And He's, he's good at what he does. He's had a couple of million years or so to, um, well, at least 6,000 years to practice with men. Who knows how many other years with angels, you know. The Bible says he took a third of, the, of heaven with him when he left heaven. <clears throat> so if he's that, if he's good enough to discourage angels, you know, talk about um, things that are bad. And some people, that's all they do is just they talk down, they talk bad stuff, they talk, um, complain, complain, complain about Israel, everything. I remember Israel when the Lord led them out of Egypt, and He uh, took him out on the uh, in the wilderness. And he was feeding them manna. And they began to complain. And I always wondered why the Lord got so upset. Because um, they began to complain. Well, obviously that's what took place in heaven with the angels. When uh, the devil, he, he taught the angels how to complain, you know. <clears throat> I guess that's why the Bible says then iniquity was found in him. <laughs> and you know, it, it all depends on who catches, who our ear catches the voice. You know, you got to listen to the one that the whom the devil is using the mouth of. <clears throat> you know, a lot of sermons I'll get up and I'll begin to preach, and I'll have to preach for. 10 15 minutes just before I can capture that spirit and try to and begin to lead them not try but God leads them begin to lead them into a place where uh, the spirit can begin to speak to their heart and encourage them and the, the devil threw me for a loop today sent me this guy that's just so obnoxious, got no respect for God or his own family. And uh, he, he was calling me names and he was uh, uh, insinuating that I wasn't very intelligent. And while this might look like a mild thing to you, it's, another, it's quite another thing to have a guy in your face saying this stuff, you know. Uh, and I felt the old man rising up in me. You know, I I came really close of going back there and straightening that fellow out the hard way. You know, I mean, I came real close. <laughs> and But I had to get my spirit right. There's other ways to take care of that, you know. Number one, like Clinton says, pray. Man, you got to pray. And when we forget to pray, then we be begin to become weaker and weaker. See, just working for God isn't doesn't quite keep you there. Yeah, yeah, it, it helps. But we need to find a, a place to steal away with the Lord. 
Find a place to get along with God and pray. Doesn't matter how you do it. Just talk to Him. Get, get your spirit up. Be ready. Be ready for the enemy. Amen. Be ready for the enemy. Get your spirit right. You know, I, I, I suppose there was a lot of different things I could have done. But I just shook my head and left. That fellow standing there. And, uh, and you know, and I'm talking to the Lord a little bit about it. You know, and I need to talk to the Lord about it later. Definitely. And try to keep this thing under control. And, and find out what God wants me to do. That I can be blessed. I'm not losing my blessing for a guy like that. Amen. Just not going to do it. And uh, you follow that example. You can do it. The Lord said, turn the other cheek. There's something more to turn the other cheek when you get around to doing it. Okay. All right. God bless. Thank you for joining me. And uh, come back again. We have another good subject right here, Crossing the Middle Ministry.